All right, well, signed, sealed, but, you know, still not delivered. Just days after Michigan's governor signed that right-to-work bill clamping down on unions, two different groups already are filing lawsuits to block it. Lots more are expected. Remy Spencer says that the folks trying to block the law do have a case, and he just said it got fired, disagrees. Um, explain, Remy, why they might have a case. They have a case for two very important reasons. First, there is a due process issue about how this law came into place. There was no notice. They actually closed down the state house. It was done in secret. Don't you think, Neil, whenever something is done in secret, people have something to hide, something that they're ashamed of? Why was like there the whole health care law? You think that's correct? Collective bargaining. What he what he brought to the the floor was this idea that. All public sector workers have to be unionized. It's, let them make that call. Absolutely. Right? It's not a constitutional issue. It was not the legislature that decided to close the doors. There are plenty of individuals that had the opportunity to speak their mind, express their concerns. It well, was she says no. They certainly weren't getting enough time. Wasn't that your They point? weren't. What do you think of that? I mean, this is a huge reach to somehow argue that allowing in more protesters and citizens to yell at the legislators would have changed the outcome of the law. I think it's preposterous. If that was the case, I should be running and yelling at my legislators because there's a lot of laws I want changed. Well, 23 other states that have right to work laws, their business environment has improved. So for net net for every their citizens. A better environment, right? Or, Absolutely. Or... I mean, the statistics speak for themselves. You know, times have changed. We unions are not as relevant as they need to be. I mean, we have tons of labor laws that cover everything from, you know, e um, to wage there. and they, hour. They, they got those laws going. That's Absolutely. To their credit. Absolutely. But there comes. You just don't throw them out because. Right. You consider them outdated. Right. No, no, we don't throw away the laws, but I think the relevance of unions themselves um, is questionable because we have these laws and we have, you know, wage and hour laws, we have discrimination laws, we have OSHA. I've handled these cases for so years. So why should private workers who would be part of this union but not have to pay dues benefit from agreements they make? Isn't that a legal argument to have it overturned? No, it's not, because the issue really is, why would you require, as a condition of employment, someone to pay to be part of a union? What if you don't believe in the ideals, the, well, the beliefs of the union? what if you benefit from whatever increases they score? Well, then that's up to the union to make the decision whether or not well, that's something not. they want to continue. Be, well, it's not. I mean, not that you guys are really smart and all, but I talk to lawyers all the time. I never understand you guys. You're so <laughs> brilliant. But they, they, they said, you know, there is an argument to be made. They're not really part of that union or could benefit from whatever agreements that they make. So there might be a stipulation for non-union union members. You know what I mean? Like That's you're exactly filling them. Well, you agree? The, no, I don't agree. I, I believe that it should be, it's all about choice. It's about giving employees and workers the choice. If, if the unions decide that they want to change the way they handle things, then, then that's, that's on them. Perhaps this is a way to get unions to change things up and convince people that they should be, you no, know, that they should want to. Absolutely, your sell your case. But why should somebody be forced to pay into something, especially as a condition of employment, if they so you don't, don't think they have a legal ground to stand on challenging them? No, I don't think legally this is going to hold any water in court. I think that if they, if anything's going to happen, they need to deal with this um, during the next election.